The New York City subway is a large rapid transit system and has a large fleet of rolling stock. Total fleet, as of July 2014, there are 6,384 cars on the NYCT roster. The system maintains two separate fleets of cars, one for the IRT routes, the other for the BMT IND routes. All BMT IND equipment is about 10 feet wide and either 60 feet 6 inches or 75 feet 6 inches long whereas IRT equipment is approximately 8 feet 9 inches wide and 51 feet long. The A division and B division trains operate only in their own division. Operating in the other division is not allowed because the IRT sections have narrower tunnel segments, tighter curves, and tighter platform clearances than the BMT IND sections. IRT division trains would have an unacceptably large gap between the platform and train if they were allowed in the BMT IND division, and BMT IND trains would not fit in the IRT tunnels and stations. The safety train stop mechanism between divisions is also incompatible, being located on opposite sides of the track and train in each division. Service and maintenance trains are composed of IRT sized cars, do not carry passengers, and can operate on either division as the safety train stop is built on both sides of the trucks. However, all rolling stock, in either A or B division, runs on the same 4 feet 8.5 in gauge. There is also a special fleet of BMT IND cars, used for operation in the BMT Eastern Division, which is the J, L, M and Z trains. The BMT Eastern Division has sharper curves and shorter platforms, so these trains can only use eight 60 foot long cars. As of June 2013, R32 and R42 married pairs along with R143 and R160A4 car sets are assigned to the BMT Eastern Division. 75 foot long cars, like the R44S, R46S, R68S, and R68S are not permitted on BMT Eastern Division trackage. A typical revenue train consists of 8 to 11 cars, although shuttles can be as short as 2, and the 7 runs 11 car trains. Train lengths range from about 150 to 600 feet long. As a general rule, trains on A division lines inherited from the IRT are shorter and narrower than those that operate on B division lines inherited from BMT IND. When the Brooklyn Rapid Transit Company entered into agreements to operate some of the new subway lines, they decided to design a new type of car, 10 feet wide and 67 feet long. The subject of several patents, the car's larger profile was similar to that of steam railroad coaches, permitting greater passenger capacity, more comfortable seating, and other advantages. The BRT unveiled its design, designated BMT Standard to the public in 1913 and received such wide acceptance that all future subway lines, whether built for the BRT, the IRT or eventually, the IND, were built to handle the wider cars. When the R44S and R46S were rebuilt, the roll signs on the side of the cars were replaced with electronic LCD signs while the front service sign remained as a roll sign. In sharp contrast, the rebuilt R32S and R38S retained roll signs on the sides, but an LCD display was placed in the front. The MTA has been incorporating newer subway cars into its stock in the past decade. Since 1999, the R142S, R142AS, R143S, R160S, and R160BS have been added into service. All cars built since 1992 are equipped with digital signs on the front, sides, and interior. Old cars, some from the original companies, are preserved at the New York Transit Museum, while others have been sold to private individuals, rail and trolley museums. Between 1984 and 1989 some of the IRT trains were painted red, giving them the name Redbirds. Since then, all of these cars have been replaced by more modern subway trains between 2000 and 2005. As of September 2010, older BMT IND cars have been retired and replaced with the R160S. Equals General Overhaul Program equals, the General Overhaul Program was a midlife overhaul program for neglected subway cars which involved thorough rebuilding of the fleet. Since the completion of the GOH program, 
The new scheduled maintenance system program has replaced the GOH program by ensuring that trains do not reach a state in which they would need such an overhaul. The car types which were part of the MTA NYCT GOH program are the IRT Redbirds, as well as INDB MT cars. These cars were rebuilt between 1985 and 1992. Some cars in various classes from R10 to R46 were also given lighter overhauls during this period. Equals a prefixed orders equals. Cars purchased by the City of New York since the inception of the IND and for the other divisions beginning in 1948 are identified by the letter R followed by a number. For example a 32. This number is the contract number under which the cars were purchased. Cars with nearby contract numbers may be virtually identical, simply being purchased under different contracts. The New York City Board of Transportation settled on a system of documentation that is still in place under MTA New York City Transit. This included a prefix letter or letters that indicated the department that the specific documentation, followed by a series of numbers of a length defined by the specific department concerned. For example, the surface department used the letter S, while the rapid transit department used the letter R. A newer number is assigned for any vehicle purchase involving a bidding process. Since the 1970s the system has suffered from our inflation going through only 46 in numbers in its first 40 years, but over 114 in its subsequent 30. Possible reasons include an increased number of specialized maintenance vehicles that were previously made in-house or a lower floor for requiring a formal bidding process in order to reduce waste and abuse. Current fleet equals track geometry car equals The two-car track geometry car set of the New York City subway helps to measure the system's track geometry. It measures Alignment Alignment is the projection of the track geometry of each rail or the track center line onto the horizontal plane, also known as the straightness of the tracks. Cross-level, the variation in kent of the track over the length of a predetermined chord length. On straight or tangent track, ideally there should be no variation, while on curves, a kent is generally desired. Curvature, the amount by which the rail deviates from being straight or tangent. The geometry car checks the actual curvature of a curve versus its design curvature. Rail gauge, the distance between the rails. Over time, rail may become too wide or too narrow. In North America and most of the world, standard gauge is 4 feet 8 1 or 2 inches. Rail profile, looks for rail wear and deviations from standard profile. Warp, the maximum change in cross level over a predetermined chord length. Corrugation of running rail surface, tunnel and station platform clearances, third rail height and gauge, vertical gap between third rail and protective board, the track geometry car typically checks each stretch of track about six times a year. The car is manually operated, and there are no plans to automate inspection of the track geometry, which is done manually with the help of high-tech equipment aboard the car. Future fleet, additionally. 168 additional cars will be built and provided for service on the E, G, L, and N services between 2015 and 2019. The contract number for these growth cars is still unknown. A 10-car prototype articulated train is planned in the 2015 a Euro 19 capital program, though it is unclear which contract number this order would fall under. Retired fleet equals IRT pre-unification listing equals equals BMT pre-unification listing equals equals a type listing equals miscellaneous air conditioning is standard on all cars are 42 and later R38 S4140-49 and R40 S4350 a Euro 4549 were also delivered with AC and all cars not equipped with AC from classes R26 or 40 were later retrofitted with AC all active cars are equipped with air conditioning and cars with malfunctioning air conditioning are not supposed to be put into service. During World War II, a group of old New York elevated line cars dating from the late 19th century was sent west to the San Francisco Bay Area by the United States Maritime Commission for use by the Shipyard Railway, a temporary wartime electric line transporting workers to the Kaiser Shipyards. After the war, most were sold to be used as units in a local motel, 
but their whereabouts afterwards is unknown. Two of them however were acquired and have been restored by the Western Railway Museum in Rio Vista, California. There are many examples of rolling stock built under contract which are not intended for revenue service, such as the A95 money train, A127 per ranking 134 garbage train and A156 work locomotive. The table below shows what year the TA had expected to retire several car models in 1981. Notes References Further reading, Q. Dehy, Brian J. Under the Sidewalks of New York, The Story of the Greatest Subway System in the World, Second Revised Edition. Fordham University Press, New York, 1995. ISBN 0-8232-1618-7. Davis, Ed Sr. They Moved the Millions, A Brief History of Passenger Cars of America's Most Heavily Traveled Passenger Railway, The New York City Transit System. Livingston Enterprise. Doherty, Peter J. Tracks of the New York City Subway, Version 4.2. 2007, Kramer, Frederick A. Building the Independent Subway. Quadrant Press, Inc. New York, 1990. ISBN 0 915276 50 x Sanson, Jean. Evolution of New York City Subways, An Illustrated History of New York City's Transit Cars, 1867 Euro 1997. New York Transit Museum Press, New York, 1997. ISBN 978-0-9637492-8-4. External links, nixaway.org New York City Subway Cars, Pre-Unification Cars, Pre-Unification Cars, Our Type Cars 1932-1987, Our Type Cars 1999-Present, Our Type Roster, Forgotten NY Subway Link, IRT Car Assignments, September 13, 2015, BMT IND Car Assignments, September 14, 2015, New York City Subway Car Fleet June 2010 through June 2015.